Hi everyone, good day to you all. Today I wanted to talk about the Black Rhino Concealment Scabbard FCS holster that I have here. This was made for my P320. Interestingly, I've had this for about two months now. I was originally planning on doing a video on this around the same time that I uploaded a video on the optic cut that I got for my P320 here. But I actually had a lot of issues with this holster. Uh, only one of them is actually directly related to the holster. The rest of the pro problems were with how I was trying to mount it to my belt and all that. Uh, but I wanted to talk about all those here. Um, let's just go ahead and start though with the holster itself. And just starting with kind of the cosmetic, just blatantly obvious stuff that you can see. So there is some customization I have here. Uh, it's pretty cool. I would say that that actually turned out really, really well. Uh, what this is, is uh, my name in a Fracture font and uh, just a crest from this uh, old RPG game that I had intended to make a few years ago, and eventually I still would hope to, but I guess this is a cool crest either way, so I decided to do that. Uh, I was originally planning to have some customization related to the channel more directly, but um, I was testing some graphics with it, and it just would have ended up looking like a black blob from anywhere beyond like three feet, so uh, I went with this. I'll put up on the screen right about here, um, that's the actual graphic that I submitted to them. So you can see there's a slight difference. It turned out really well, as I said. You do have a bit less detail uh, in this kind of blacked out area that originally was checkered. And you do see a little bit of white around the edges, which is strange. I wonder if the, I don't know, maybe the print perhaps slipped a little bit. Uh, but it's not that important to me. Uh, what I was mainly looking for, the reason this is all kind of grayscale or blacked out, uh, Black Rhino Concealment does actually offer full color prints. However, I went with black because I wanted this to be a practical use holster and I didn't want something flashy that would stick out. I still wanted some sort of customization just to see how it would turn out, but uh, just something very muted and not screaming where I am and destroying my camouflage. As for another thing I have on here, uh, you don't need to get this when you order this holster, but I do have the level two retention hood. I do think it is a very good idea to have a hood for an outside the waistband holster. Um, just extra protection, especially because it's out there. And the way that this works is very similar to many other holsters. You have a lever right here, and you're going to want to pull that downwards, and then the Hood there just releases and you can pull the handgun out from there, nice and simple. Now here's where the problem with this holster starts. So this is one that is actually related to the holster, as I mentioned, had some other problems with mounting it, but the one issue I haven't been able to fix yet is reholstering this. As you saw, when I took this out of the holster, fine, no issue whatsoever. However, when I actually go to reholster this, there is a major issue, and if you look right here, you will see, if you look closely, and if this will focus, there is quite a bit of wear right there. And the reason for that is because on the P320, the slide release kind of sticks out and it actually catches right there. So when I go to reholster this, and I'll actually, I'm going to switch camera angle so I'm not doing this while holding it because that's an awkward angle. So if you look right here, I've got this on my leg shroud at the moment. Something else, as I mentioned, this is another part I had kind of an issue with that I'll touch on later. But going to actually reholster this, of course, going in and just pushing straight down like you would with a normal holster, the slide release actually catches right here. Uh, some solutions I've found to remedy this, none of these are ideal. Um, when you're reholstering, you can kind of push out and then in, and then this is in all the way. You can see the hood allows it to close all the way as well. Uh, another way, because that doesn't always work, you know, it's kind of you really have to push it out for that to work properly. Uh, another thing I've been doing just sometimes when I'm at the range is just actually pushing this in with my other hand and then dropping it the rest of the way. Neither of those are ideal. If you just go and just try to naturally reholster it, it always will get caught there. And this is something actually exclusive to the P320. I have another holster here that I loaned. This is for a HK45T, uh, exact same setup. And if I go ahead and drop this here onto my platform, so you can see, pulling it out, nice and normal, dropping it back in. I didn't really do anything special there, and it still just went in just fine.
So if you have a handgun like this, uh, I know a lot of the HK handguns have more of an actual bar here you can see for the slide release and that's a lot more low profile to the handgun itself and doesn't really get caught. I know there are a lot more handguns like that and of course a lot more like this as well. So I think what you'll want to keep in mind is if you have a handgun, if you have a P320, you'll have the same issue. If you have a handgun with a similar type of slide release where it's kind of out like this, then keep that in mind when you order this holster, that you're probably going to run into that issue right there. So personally, I'm probably going to, I've been thinking of heating this up and just trying to bend it out a little bit. I believe that would fix the issue, but I'm just really thinking about it to make sure there's no unforeseen consequences uh, before I actually do it and possibly mess up the holster because I really don't want to do that. So another issue that I had with this holster doesn't directly apply to the holster, but this might just be kind of good advice uh, just in general for a holster. A major issue is uh, I was originally using this on a mid-ride. Uh, when I was originally training with it, I was just, you know, initial practice, just kind of running a little bit with it. And I noticed that the mid-ride would always go down at an angle and would dig into my leg really quite a bit. And it would actually cause a lot of pain after just very short term, just wearing it. So I was looking at a bunch of other mounting options and I ultimately settled on this Safari Land um, Flex Leg Shroud. It's pretty much a drop leg. Now I've used a full on drop leg in the past when I didn't know better, when those were kind of in vogue. And yeah, definitely don't do that. Um, that went all the way down here. The issue with that is it's gonna wiggle around a lot when you're running. This one doesn't, uh, doesn't have an issue. I mean, I can't really run right now. I don't have enough room on the frame, but this one does not wiggle once you get it cinched up properly. This doesn't cut off circulation in my leg either, uh, and it's good. Uh, additionally, this right here uh, does actually have quite a bit of flex to it, so it doesn't dig into my leg. As I mentioned, that was a huge issue on that mid-ride that I was using previously, and that works quite well. The last issue that is also related to mounting it was actually where I was mounting it. I've had to change my belt setup quite a bit. If you're familiar with my channel in the past, I was using suspenders for one for quite a while. I'm testing, I may go back to using them, but for now I'm just not using it. Um, this drop leg with the strap in a way does actually kind of hold this belt almost in an inverse manner as the suspenders used to. Um, so I'm testing that, we'll see. I may go back to it as I said, but I had to change my setup used to have a tourniquet here and um, the issue I was having with that is this is the HSGI slim grip segmented belt and I have two segments here and I was partially using this one so my only options were to either go way back or way forward neither of those worked as you can see right now I actually have two segments um, out and then the belt is over it and that works perfectly. I have it right in between those. I just had to move around where my tourniquet is and all that. Uh, having it exactly at my side like this is far more comfortable. Of course, having it misaligned is also going to cause it to be a lot more uncomfortable. Uh, I tested it before I stopped using the mid-right. I did test having it more forward, more back, and right at the side. And regardless of where I put it, it would always dig in. Um, but definitely having it right at the side is the most comfortable and also is quite quick to reach as well. So that covers it for my thoughts on the Scabbard FCS. For the P320, I would say it's a very mixed bag. And um, if I were to go back and do it again, I would probably go with a different holster because of that slide release issue on reholstering is very annoying. And you can see how it's actually catching here. Just right there. So additionally, uh, one thing I was thinking, which I haven't actually tested, is maybe some other grip modules would actually have less of an issue because this one, uh, this is the Grey Guns laser sculpted grip. It's just originally it is a uh, X carry. So uh, on the regular P320 grip, you have kind of, I like to call it a fence, uh, just kind of a little area around this that kind of shrouds it a bit better. So maybe if you had the normal grip module on your P320, it would slide in a bit better, just would kind of guide it a bit more. I'm not sure, uh, but certainly with this grip module, it does have some pretty bad issues. So. Uh, if you have, if you want to get this holster for a different gun, I, as I said, if you have it kind of sticking out more like this, it would probably still be an issue. But if you have like a more of a bar, like on that HK I was showing earlier, probably will work fine. But definitely mixed results in my experience. Um, hardware itself and the actual fit though is very good. I have this cut for the RMR. 
or just an optic cut in general, I should say, and then I have it fitted for this Surefire X300 UA that I have on here. And it fits great. Even if I didn't have the retention hood on here, uh, this is a very good, solid holster. Won't fall out on its own. And additionally, it's not too tight of a holster as well. Uh, and if it is, you can actually adjust it, just backing these out a little bit. So that is that. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully this was informative on just this holster review and hopefully was helpful with just a little bit of holster setup in general. I kind of breezed through it because not the main point of the video, but just a few tips there from my experience just from using this. So thank you all for watching. Let me know if you have any other questions about this or anything else in the comments below. Uh, otherwise, I hope to see you all in the next one and uh, take care. See you all then.